goes to the permanent secretary whom I was waking up I, who, who I would call in the middle of the night in the morning while he was having his breakfast at all times of the day and he responded 
other people probably, or other officials probably would think I was being a nuisance, but he responded. I also want to thank the president because when I came to Uganda in January for the NAM summit, I met him and briefed him about the plight of uh, our citizens in Southeast Asia, and he responded positively. My gratitude does not stop there. It goes far and beyond to the government of Thailand, uh, that the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Justice that I worked with. But we would not be here today without IOM giving us support uh, logistical support. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful to uh, IOM. I cannot forget the international NGOs that uh, I worked with and enabled me to meet some of the key people who eventually uh, helped to release uh, the Ugandans. And as I talk now, we still have many other Ugandans uh, locked up in there, and we are trying to work hard to make sure they, uh, they, are also, they also return back home like uh, these others. I want to appeal to you, the media, the information you're going to be giving out is very important, but we need to be mindful of what we tell the public, not just here, but internationally. We still have Ugandans, or other nationalities for that matter, who are still being held. And what we, sp we say out might jeopardize their conditions, or even the process of trying to get them to come back home. So we have to be uh, cautious on the way of communication uh, that we send out. Not only that, uh, the most important thing right now, uh, we've, uh, we are welcoming our people back, but at the same time, how do we stop this terrible crime going on? And I want to tell you here and now that it is on the increase. There are more than 100,000 people from all over the world, not, not, Europe, not, not, not North Americans, not uh, Europeans, but they target mainly poor countries or d developing countries to lure their citizens because today unemployment, especially for youth, is a major, major problem. And, uh, and, and, and therefore, we have to see a way, a, con a concerted way to stop this uh, problem. I want to thank you for making time to come and uh, well, Mukulikeyo. <laughs> Thank you. To implement the Sustainable Development Goals, that is the SDG. Particularly here, I can mention SDG targets 10.7, which is about facilitating orderly, safe, and responsible migration. I can also mention SDG target 8.7 which is about eradicating forced labor, modern day slavery, and human trafficking has been met by the government of Uganda. <laughs> Once again, I would therefore like to commend Ambassador and our IOM colleagues in Thailand, here in Uganda, my team, and the regional office also in Nairobi. They provided the, the support also. And Last but not the least, the headquarter colleagues in Geneva for all the measures taken to secure your movements. These measures have included family tracing, comprehensive risk assessment for returnees who may be in a danger from traffickers and ensuring safe and dignified return. In close coordination with the Royal Republic of Thailand and the government of Uganda, IAM has been able to provide support services, including medical care, psychosocial support, legal assistance, and plan tailored post arrival reintegration support. I pray that you will put that support to good use. 
Secretary, Madam Ambassador, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, assisted voluntary returns and reintegration, which we call for short AVRR, is a core activity of IOM, which benefits tens of thousands of returning migrants every year. Through the program, IOM Uganda ensures that victims of trafficking receive comprehensive counseling and information before coming home. This is crucial for empowering them with the knowledge and tools needed to reintegrate safely and successfully. As part of the pre-departure arrangements, IOM puts in place, put measures in place to trace for your family, families with which you will be reunited. We also ensure that all returnees are well informed about entry requirement, health protocol, and any other pertinent regulation before they arrive in Uganda. And you can attest to this and confirm this that your ambassador worked tirelessly to make sure you, have, you are rehabilitated one month before coming to Uganda today. Look how fresh you are. You look good. You look fresh. Where are the ladies? I'm not seeing them. They took the back seats. But you look fresh. IAM Uganda remains steadfast in its commitment to the right and welfare of migrants, ensuring that their return and reintegration process is handled with the utmost care, respect, and professionalism. As I end, I once again thank the government of the Royal Republic of Thailand, the government of Uganda, all the IOM colleagues involved, and all our partners for supporting the AVR program, and especially this movement. Once again, I welcome the returnees home, and may Allah bless you all as Santisana. Karibu. Thank uh, the, the government of Thailand for their generous gesture for waiving all the fees on overstay visas, pardoning uh, you all uh, for not having uh, work permits. Uh, we therefore extend our appreciation uh, to them. We thank indeed the IOM, the International Organization for Migration. Uh, for the support you have rendered from around the 20th of March up to when you boarded the plane yesterday evening to return to Uganda. <laughs> Finally, I want to extend a sincere uh, gratitude to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Indeed, as uh, the Ambassador was updating me, we were also writing briefs to H.E. the President. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, he has been extremely supportive uh, of uh, your return. He has participated at, in all forms, including giving us guidance on what needs to be done, uh, giving the Ministry of Foreign Affairs what needs to be done, and us transmitting his guidance and advice to our ambassador. And we are happy that his guidance was spot on. In a very special way, I want to thank Ambassador Betty Bigombe for the commitment, for the commitment to ensure that uh, the Ugandans return and that they return uh, healthy and uh, note that we are repat repatriating remains, but people like yourselves who are alive. And of course, I thank colleagues in the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, they have a specialized desk on uh, human trafficking. They have a legal team. Uh, we've worked with them, updating each other at each and every stage. So we are delighted that uh, we have uh, you, our fellow citizens, back in your country. But I want to re-echo what the Commissioner said. Uh, purported green pastures are never green. They are never green. And you never know what you have until you lose it. So you've had a lot of freedom here in Kampala, in Uganda, doing everything that you need to do. And uh, you lost your freedom for some time. Kindly reflect on that 
and be ambassadors for your country and uh, portray your country in a uh, good faith and uh, promote Uganda as a brand because what you have seen cannot happen in the borders of Uganda. So we thank God that you're all, you're all here uh, and uh, as uh, Benon mentioned, you will uh, voluntarily answer a question or two from uh, the media and uh, I will invite the media now in case you have any question for government uh, on behalf of on, uh, from the government side to raise the issue or the question. Oluwalero. Um, tuzo wano kuchisa weche nye nye chentebe Okuwa niliza Bana Uganda Havili uh, mbasatu Havili uh, watu wali wa ebweru Gababa gami Tiba ine minuji wa gendo kola yyo Nene baba tuwala Baba gamba wa genda kola ya Thailand Nene baba tuwala mugwanga Ilia the union of Myanmar we have to allow you. We have to a minimum. We just have to be truthful. We have to be honest. No cover is done. We have to internet, social media. We have to raise our voices. Government never yo. We have to call out the chief. We right on the prime minister. We have to call our ministry of internal affairs, ministry of foreign affairs. Nebi tongo lebi kesi uh, Neba vayo kutandika Ne embasa yafe ya Malaysia Etuwa la meyanima Netu vayo kutandika ukula vanti Bana Uganda wana wakome Wakome uh, uh, Now there are many voices uh, Bana Uganda wana wakome uh, Baba ba, 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 jamo Mo Mo uh, Mubu wambi Aha uh -huh. Bakumezi bako weo e Uganda. So ambasada wafi ambasada beti bigombe na ata andika na anonya ama kubo ago kuwa atagana na abantu ama ali watu teba na Uganda wafi na abafuna na ate sana bo nebo gira ganya nebo kiliza teba na Uganda bagenda bata. Mwezo goku satu mwumaj indidi nebo bata e chitongole e cha international organization migration ne chiba amba Ukubaji anjava, nukubala vila, nukutusa kubaba kwa mezao, polwa lero, mkampala. So tuze wano, kubaba niliza, kubaba kwa miyao, nino kubiliza la na Uganda. Temini mwje waba limba, tijajiri evuelu, jisa sula sente njiji, oboli yao, tijiri iyo, ngaba no, wewa na atubulila, nwa mazo kutukeke wawe, neba kakana, neba kisala wanti, patubuli lechechari wo, ukusobolo kuziliza la na Uganda. Uh, ukugenda mugu unji mbili mugino katichetumanyi titujiku lachi tijiri iyo mwiga lenye mwiga lenye